Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Woo child, so I already know y'all are gonna eat me up in these comments, honey, but we're family over here. We're not gonna always agree. I'm just giving you my perspective. I am so tired of hearing about Dwayne Wade and his son who is transitioning into a girl till it's not even funny. Not that I'm insensitive or anything, but what you do with your child is what you do with your child. It's not up for us to know every change, every move. You made one interview about it, Dwayne please just go on let's hear about your daughter's first words how was the surrogacy process as a matter of fact how are you and Gabrielle getting along with the baby that you had when you and her were on break let's answer some of those questions but constantly harboring on this child who is 12 years old who is transitioning one interview should do it Dwayne we shouldn't constantly hear about it so in case you've been living under a rock Dwayne Wade has done several interviews with his last one being with Ellen DeGeneres and he discussed his son Zion wanting to transition to a female and be called Zaya. So once Zaya, 12 year old, came home um, and first Zion, everybody, I don't know if everyone knows, originally named Zion, Zion born um, as a boy, came home and said, hey, uh, so I want to talk to you guys. Um, You know, I think going forward, I'm ready to live my truth and I want to be uh, referenced as she and her. Uh, I would love for you guys to call me Zaya. And so internally, now is our job to one, go out and get information, to reach out to every relationship that we have. My wife reached out to everybody on the, the uh, cast of Pose. Um, and we're just trying to figure out as much information we can to make sure that we give our child the best opportunity to be you know, her best self. Now there was some applause because Dwayne Wade and his wife Gabrielle Union have been standing beside their now daughter Zaya, but there were also some outrage. Outrage by rapper Boosie was probably the biggest response on the topic. Take a listen to this. I gotta say something about this, bro. Dwayne Wade, you gone too fucking far, dog. That is a male, a twelve-year-old. At twelve, they don't even know. They don't even know what they next meal gonna be. They don't even, they don't have shit figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at 16 and fall in love with her. But his dick be gone, how you going Like, bro, that's, it's, it's, you going too far, dog. Don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, bro, for real. If he gonna be gay, let him be gay. But don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, don't address him as a woman, dog. He's 12 years old. He don't, he's not, he's not, up there yet he he hasn't made his final decisions yet don't cut his off Dwayne Wade bro you fucking tripping dog you tripping dog you tripping dog now Boosie was not the only person that had something to say about this Dwayne Wade situation but we'll get to that in a moment First, I want you to go back eight years with me and see what his ex-wife, Savon, had to say about Gabrielle Union raising her kids. Take a listen to this. What will cause you years later to actually file a lawsuit against her? Because the lawsuit wasn't about any relationship that the two of them may have, you know, or, or had, whether it was while we were married, during, or after. The lawsuit was about her having a negative effect on my children. That's what that lawsuit was about. And when her behavior and the things she did and said began to affect my sons, that's when I opened my mouth and did something about it. It's the way he had the fame and the money, the fame and the fortune. You know, that wasn't just her, there was the school administrator came in to testify. Now, Savon has been hit with a gag order that prevents her from talking about Dwayne Wade in any social media post. So she has not given any comments as to what she thinks about her 12 year old son, Zion, transitioning to a female named Zaya. Now, another person that has been ridiculed in the media about how they feel on this Dwayne Wade situation is Ricky Smiley. Take a listen to this. I ain't hear about the song. Now they got the baby up here. They take a family picture. The baby up here, twelve years old, with with a with a uh, uh, the acrylic uh, nails, uh, uh, the acrylic nails, and a halter top shirt on. Now, 
Be what you want to be. But the question is, if that boy was a, a real little girl, is it appropriate? Because my 12-year-old daughter wouldn't have on no oh, halter top and, on, and no acrylic a, acrylic nails. My 12-year-old girl. Right. Because they got plenty of time for that. They got the rest of their life to do that. Now, why you got to march that out in front of everybody and that's still a child? This, this, is, this is me. Now, you can get mad at me and the LGBT community can attack me or whatever and, and say whatever they want to say. But I'm just talking about just as a parent, you got to use a certain amount of discretion and it almost feels like exploitation uh, uh, to a child's sexuality. Now, 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 be what you want to be, and people who are gonna be who they want to be, and and sometimes this stuff is 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 genetic. Sometimes it's low testosterone. That was explained to me by a doctor. Uh, uh, the reason why some people are the way they are. However, we're not telling you you can't be who you are. Then you could be that in private. But 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 if my son was gay, and I I, I raised I raised a child that was that was uh, a lesbian that's that's now uh, living her life. Uh, uh, you know, as 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 the opposite sex now, yeah. or whatever. But while you're a child, remain in a child's place. Be who you are. Then, when you get old enough, you get to be whoever you want to be. The problem is, uh, we cannot allow. We have to set boundaries. Cannot allow children to do what they want to do. And what they, if your three year old or four year old baby, they love candy, but you wouldn't give them candy for breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. You give them what they're supposed to have for breakfast. But if it was up to them, they would eat Skittles and candy for breakfast every morning and for lunch and for dinner. As a parent, you have to make a decision that this is not good for you right here. And when you get old enough to buy your own candy and pay your own rent, you can eat it. And I still love you and support you. So where do we draw the line? Now, a lot of people in the LGBT community were not happy with what Ricky had to say. However, it wasn't even that that really threw everything overboard. It was the post that he made following. Now, this post is a repost. This is not Ricky's thoughts, but he did place it on his Instagram page. And it says, Black boy, I want to wear locks to school. Society, suspended. No graduation. Thug. Then it says, Black boy, how about a dress? society and it shows a heart smiling emoji clapping hands and then it says social engineering so after this ricky smiley was threatened to be canceled by the lgbt community and he had this to say following the incident and i shared a post shared not not created shared shared a post let's be very clear shared a post the uh about uh, the, the the post said, if I'm not mistaken, Robbie, I think Robbie Nelson, I saw it on, on it came down and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Let me, I just hit share because, uh, and the post said that um, America, um, what did the post say? America, something uh, labels a guy with dreadlocks a thug and celebrate um, a little boy that wear dresses or whatever, and all of a sudden I'm home. I'm a homophobe now, you know, because I, I shared the post and shit. It, it was an it was interesting, and a lot of people do, and I shared it because a lot of people do feel that way, and a lot of people do think that. Uh, I'm not saying necessarily that I think that, but you know, it just it does seem like, and this I'm I'm more gonna speak on. On the men's side, men uh, wearing dreadlocks or whatever that uh, police and different ones in society just, you know, uh, kind of hate, seem like they just hate people that, <clears throat> you know, wear dreadlocks is, is part of our culture. You know, we from, you know, from from, from Africa and, and, you know, from the continent of Africa and the motherland. And a lot of men are being told that they can't graduate uh or, or is there some kind of stigma to not only men wearing their dregs, but uh, people of color, you know, wearing their natural hair uh, or whatever. <laughs> now, um, somebody took that post and started some shit and it ain't nothing but some mess because I didn't, I shared the post. That ain't a post that I, that I created or whatever. And whatever anybody, anybody want to do, uh, with their kids or whatever, that's their business, you know. 
And but but what I will say, um, being you know pro masculine, if we us fathers out here, and if if we desire for our son to play football, that don't make us anti gay. You know, if if if, if one of my kids or nephews, um, you know, said that they felt different or they felt like they uh, a man and a woman's body or whatever, I would love them the same as I would the one that played, you know, uh, the one that, that's, that's growing up being regular boys and don't have those issues. So I'm not biased against anybody. Anybody know, my, know me. Anybody know my work record. Anybody know the people that work on my team, my staff, my manager, my agent, people that drive uh, and travel with me all over the country. We work with everybody. And you know, um, that, 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 that's just me. I had my own personal opinion. I didn't uh, uh, say anything bad about uh, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, uh, who I absolutely love, or whatever. I just said, no, my son wouldn't wouldn't do that until I, I felt like he was old enough or whatever. And then that would be, um, you know, uh, that would be uh, a conversation that I would have to have with my son. Y'all know I keep my mouth closed on these situations. We're going to get down in the comments and talk about it down below. I want to know what you think about Ricky Smiley's apology. Also, what do you think about Dwayne Wade's ex-wife saying that she pretty much feels that Gabrielle Union has influenced her children, although this interview is eight years old. And lastly, how do you feel about Boosie and his comments towards Dwayne Wade and Dwayne Wade's son? Leave a comment and you know how we do? We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, in this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now, you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.